guys and welcome to today's video. Today I am um, in a slightly different corner of my office, but in my office nonetheless. I am near my bookshelf, which is kind of not just a bookshelf if I'm honest. I have books at the top. This still needs an, uh, something in it, but clearly it doesn't have that at the moment. Um, I keep my fragrances here. It's a, it's a bit of a mess in here, but I keep like beauty products and just general other stuff. But as you can tell by the title today, I am clearing out my bookshelf because the truth is I don't only have these books. I have so many books at the moment and I have become a book collector rather than someone that actually reads books which is not what I want to be and I really want to just kind of downsize my book collection in the hope that that will inspire me to read what I actually have on my shelf. I think I've only read three books this year which we are in May is not very much um, but I do find that I read more in spring and summer. Actually I just find I read more when it's warm and it just hasn't been warm. We had about a week of warm weather and actually I did read in that time. I read two books I think in that time so I'm just hoping that once it does start getting a bit warmer I will start reading a bit more. I have four really high stacks of books in my office. I do have other miscellaneous books throughout the house. Whether I'm going to sort through those, I'm unsure. They're cookbooks and I largely, I don't have that many cookbooks I wouldn't say. And then I have a few books in the living room and then just a couple in my bedroom but really not very much. I just want to get through and sort these. I really am not the sort of person that just wants to keep loads of books so I can be like, hey, look at all the books I've read because like I said, I just haven't read them. So what's the point of me keeping them? I want to keep books that I genuinely want to read. Potentially that I would read in the future, that I would reread in the future. If I didn't enjoy a book, I don't see the point of me keeping it. I just feel like I really need to go through this. I am going to get another shelf, by the way, um, to go here, but I have to go to IKEA. And I am in North London, and the North London IKEA closed, so I have to go to either Greenwich or Wembley, but I will do that at some point soon. I haven't really bought books in a while. I would say that a lot of my books are like people locally to me that are getting rid of like big lots of books and if there's a couple of books that I know I want to read I may collect them um, and I do typically go through and get rid of the ones I don't want to read but sometimes I keep the ones that I'm like unsure about and basically that's what's happened there's a lot of books here that I'm like oh maybe I want to read but there's so many that I just feel like I need to get rid of lots I don't know if it's realistic for me to just have like one more shelf and that be it I also have lots of books at mom's house and she's quite keen for me to get rid of the ones I have at hers but Let's see how we get on today. So th these are the books that I have on the bookshelf currently. I have just two rows, not that many to be honest, and I feel like they're relatively organised, but I just want to go through and see what I want and what I don't want. There's probably a couple here that I don't want, but probably not loads if I'm completely honest. And then here on the floor, there's just loads. Um, again, I'm not sure what I do want to keep and what I don't want to keep, but I definitely have to go through them. More over here in this corner. Um, I feel like maybe these are organised into ones that I know I don't want. The Harry Potters are what Mike's currently reading. So I know I'm not getting rid of those. They ended up here because they came in from my mum's house and I just put them on there. And then finally, I also have these books. So as you can see, I have far too many books. So I think I'm either going to sit here or on the floor to do this. Um, I'm going to put my books around me. <laughs> So I'm going to sit here on the floor whilst I go through these and I will talk you through a few books as we go and my thinking process, absolutely nobody asked, but I'm currently reading Zadie Smith's Swing Time, honestly not that far through, the last time I read this was about 10 days ago and the sun was like shining and I was having, uh, I found like a little bench in Notting Hill and I read this because I had some time to kill and honestly I'm just waiting for the sun to come back so that I can start reading again but it's definitely keeping that because I want to finish it. It's quite a divisive book though, I think. Um, I haven't read any Zadie Smith, but some, some people really liked this one, some people didn't. Then the Harry Potter stuff, I said I'm going to keep those because Mike wants those. Those are the ones that jumped out to me in terms of me really wanting them. It's really hard, like, I'm already looking around and like, these two caught my eye because they're both on the top. Um, I've read both. This is this is Going to Hurt by Adam Kay and then Murakami's Norwegian Wood. I've read both. I don't know if I want to keep them because I'm not sure I would reread them and that makes it really difficult. But let's start here. I'm going to keep Norwegian Wood, but I am going to get rid of This Is Going to Hurt. It's a great book, I would highly recommend it, but realistically, I don't think I'm going to reread it. I, I think it's better for me to give them to someone else that will enjoy it. There's no point in me holding on to things that, that I think is unlikely that I'm going to read. Then we have a, fa a Thousand Splendid Sons. I'm going to keep that. I've heard great things, haven't had a chance to read it. It's one of those books I feel like I am going to read sooner or later, but I just haven't got around to it. Then I have Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. This book took me a really long time to read, but I did actually read it. I can't really remember it, if I'm completely honest. But actually, I think it's going to be one I'm going to keep. 
because it was it was such a cult a cult book it seemed like everyone was reading it over lockdown and who knows maybe i will reread it i feel like for the for a lot of these i'm just gonna go through and see like what goodreads says says if it's like a really low goodread rating then i just don't think i want it but i will also read like the topics because if the topics also don't appeal to me then i'm not going to keep it um, i'm going to see like what other people are saying about them and that's basically what i think i'm going to do now so i'm probably going to fast forward the next little bit <laughs> The thing is, obviously most of these books I have decided that I do want to keep and that's why I'm unsure how successful I'm going to be at this at all. So I'm very much relying on Goodreads to kind of help me uh, decide what I'm keeping and what I'm not keeping. Which I feel like kind of sounds like it's um, not a good way to go about it because you're basically relying on other people's reviews. But the thing is, like, I just really want to have a clear out and I feel like having an average of what other people thought is a good way to go about it. There's people who I think like really similar books to me that I follow and so I, I really trust their opinion so I think it's the best way for me to go about pick, uh, deciding what books I'm going to keep. This here is my pile of books that I'm getting rid of. I'll show you a better view of them once I've found somewhere for them. But I thought I'd talk you through just a couple that I am getting rid of. A lot of the ones I'm getting rid of are because the subject matter is quite heavy. Some of them have some magicalness to them, which I don't typically like. And a lot of them are like thrillers, so again, they're a little bit heavy. I have just come to a point where I've just realised I don't really want to read that many heavy books. Don't get me wrong, I have kept some that are quite heavy. But I've also got rid of a lot that are quite heavy. I really do find the World Wars quite interesting to read about. I just haven't been reaching for them. And I'm very aware that any of these books, if I really wanted to repurchase them, I can. And if I, if I bought them secondhand, it only cost me a couple of pounds on eBay. But let me talk you through a couple of books I am getting rid of. Boy Parts by Eliza Clark. I read this, I gave this a 4 out of 5, which is pretty good in my books. But um, I am going to get rid of it because I don't think I'll ever reread it. I'm unlikely to lend it to someone. And honestly, I just need the space. It comes down to having to make a decision as to what I want to keep. I just simply can't keep everything. Next, Never Let Me Go by Kazu Ishiguru. I've heard this is great. I think Mike started this a few times. Um, I think he would enjoy this. I don't think I would. I, I think it has got a little bit of a fantasy side to it. So I'm mm, just not keeping it. This is the Ian, Ian McEwan book nutshell i was tempted to keep this but i have another i have atonement by ian McEwan, and actually another one as well um and i just don't think i'm ever going to get around to reading this so i am going to let it go the establishment by owen jones i quite like owen jones to be honest i think this might be an interesting read but i just don't want to read it it just sitting through 300 pages about the establishment just doesn't really appeal to me so i'm gonna let it go nigel slater toast i started this i am i'm quite interested in food in terms of like podcasts and stuff i really love a food podcast and even on tv i quite like food stuff um but for some reason i couldn't get into this so i'm just gonna let it go i clearly picked this up from somewhere or maybe at a charity shop and someone inside inside wrote to their friend research so we can make friends with nigel love from a um but i'm gonna get rid of it then we have a penguin classic this things that can and cannot be said i was tempted to read this but a, i think it's quite heavy i think it's like a bunch of emails maybe i don't know it's basically written not in like regular prose my year of rest and relaxation i think i started this but clearly i did not finish it this is a quite controversial book um i just don't think i'm gonna get around to reading it and i don't think i'm missing out by not reading it so it's gonna go the german girl i was very tempted by this i think if i read this i would really enjoy it um it's about the second world war so i just can't see myself reaching for it anytime soon oh you know what i think i'm gonna keep this one it has got good reviews i'm gonna keep it oh because i think i would enjoy it getting rid of naomi wolf vagina the reviews of people that i know that have read this have just not been great and it just seems very i think it's non-fiction and honestly i just don't really enjoy reading non-fiction we were liars by e lockhart i enjoyed this i gave this a four out of five but i just don't think i'm gonna reread it so i'm gonna pass it on to my cousin because i think she would enjoy it sebastian barry days without end i gave this a two out of five so why it's still in my collection i have no idea blink by malcolm gladwell 
Um, kind of mixed reviews on this book. Again, it's non-fiction, I believe. I just don't think I would enjoy this. So I think I'm just gonna let it go. I'm unsure. Let me know, like, should I, should I read this? Then a book that I have held on for ages is Dull, uh, Christmas of Dull People by Saki. Saki? Um, it's a really, really thin book that I thought I'd read at Christmas, but I didn't. So I'm gonna let it go. Because I think calling a book Christmas of Dull People makes it sound like a dull book. So, haven't read that. And then finally, I'm getting rid of this copy of American Dirt because I have a softback version of it. I haven't got around to reading this yet, but I just find hardcovers such a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna let this go as well. So here we go. There is actually 50 books here. I think maybe I might have a few more to get rid of. But for now, this is what we've got. I'll just give you a little tour. You can see that there's a lot of World War books that I'm just getting rid of. And just, yeah, just some typically slightly heavier books. Or books I've already read that I don't want to reread. That's kind of largely the vibe of what I'm getting rid of. So this is everything that I am keeping. It looks a bit crazy, to be completely honest. I do not have enough bookshelves for these. But I'm going to try and put them up. And I think once they're back up, I'll talk you through them. So this is what I've got so far. Honestly, there's still quite a lot of books that haven't got a home. And, and there's some there on the floor too, but honestly not too bad. And I think one extra shelf would almost solve the issue. Up here I now have all my hardbacks. Um, I hate hardback covers, but um, I haven't bought these, so that's why um, they're hardbacks. I've got a few here that aren't, but largely hardbacks just here. The Seven Deaths of Evan Hardcastle, I haven't read yet, but I really want to. Airhead, um, again, haven't read. There's a few of these that I haven't read. I have read Small Pleasures, which is a good one. Um, yeah, there's a few books that I really want to read and some that I have read. Um, and then down here, we've basically the same sort of thing, I guess. Um, I have kept like some that I know are heavy. There's just not just light books here. For example, of course, um, Silka's Journey um, is about the war. I've got quite a lot of book books about India um, because I don't know why. I'm just quite interested in them. And then a few more down here. And I have organised these by colour because I just want to, to be honest. And I think I'm actually going to, maybe just put these on the floor for now, but like I said, I'm going to get that drawer, that shelf. And I might put this one a little higher, I'm not sure. But yeah, I hope that was mildly enjoyable. Last minute, I also decided against these, so I'm not keeping these two. I've already read The Tattooist of Art Switch, and I'm not keeping The Librarian because I have some other war uh, books. I, I think the reason I didn't want to get rid of these initially is because it feels like I'm getting rid of someone's story, but I just can't keep everything. I'm getting rid of this just because, um, again, I think it's non-fiction. I'm just unlikely to read it. And then finally, this John Green, just because it is YA, and I think maybe I won't enjoy it as much because of that. And basically, I think my cousin will enjoy it much more than I will. So these are the other books I still have, but um, just currently don't have a shelf. I kept, for example, these ones by um, a Portuguese author that I bought off um, eBay a little while ago. I really want to read uh, this Wow No Thank You book, and that's that. And actually, can I just say, my favourite book is by John Boyne, and it's called The Hearts Invisible Furies. I have A Ladder to the Sky by him, but that is not my favourite book. So I'm just finishing up this video and I realised I don't have an outro. This is a few days on. I'm wearing the same top as the video, but it is a few days on. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't necessarily like the best video ever, but I find this quite hard to film. And because I don't have this shelf, I feel like it wasn't quite fully finished. I will share what my bookshelf looks like on my Instagram once I finally get around to buying that shelf. But thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next Thursday. Bye.